Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I am coming on to do a little share of some things I created as well as um, my first Christmas tag uh, and card. So um, I, this first part is inspired by G Cares channel here on YouTube and uh, G has done some tutorials uh, that show how to make these cute little dresses as well as other types of clothing. And these are um, based on folding techniques that you can use six by six and four by four and two by two pieces of paper. So it's great for six by six paper pads and it's based on origami. But um, all of the tutorials are on G's channel. She does a fantastic job of showing how to do everything. So I'm not gonna do a tutorial. I'm just gonna show you what I made. So I followed a tutorial on her pay, on her channel to make this little dress. And if you're not already, already a member of her channel, you know, I hope you'll go check her out and subscribe. Um, but I followed the tutorial to do the dress and I decorated it. Um, this is actually a paper uh, that, oh, I'm sorry about the camera, you guys. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's actually a paper that I got from Susan Laverty. Um, it's this Prima paper pad. And uh, she sent this to me and it's just got beautiful uh, florals and uh, just really pretty roses and stuff. So I just used um, this paper, thank you Susan, and um, also these little stickers that she sent that have butterflies and flowers and these are also a Prima product. So that's the paper I used to create the little dress. And then uh, G also shows how to make little handbags to go with it. And you can put a larger paper clip on this, or you can also make them smaller and do a smaller paper clip. So here's a little tiny purse, and this one you can actually clip to a page. But G shows a bunch of different ways to use these in journals, where you can actually uh, glue this down on the page and then use it as a tuck spot on your journal page, which I thought was a really cute idea. But I actually made it to use on a birthday card because my mom has a birthday coming up and I thought it would be cute to put these on the card and then maybe clip this to close the envelope. So that's what I made it for. So I actually made this one and then just for fun I, I folded up a few more. But what I like about them is you can also tuck a little bit of netting inside the fold of the dress. And of course you can add you know all your little trims um, and different things to decorate. So I just thought these turned out really cute. And I did make a few more. This was the one that I thought turned out the best after I had made a few. This was the first one that I made and I think I need to pull the sides in. So when you go to pull the, pull the sides and turn them in, you wanna turn them in a little bit further so that you get a, a better waist effect. And you can see what I mean because on this one here, I pulled them in a little tighter. This one's a little bit wider. So I think it looks a little bit more to scale if you pull them in a little bit tighter. So I thought I, this one I used a paper pad from Your Next Stamp and it's called Winter Knits. And there it is right there. This is from Your Next Stamp, which is a Canadian company. Hello up there. And uh, this one just has all different knits in it. And I've used this to make Christmas tags in previous years. Um, but I thought this would make a cute Christmas dress. And I can just imagine these um, as a Christmas tag. You could attach a little string and have a tag, like a price tag that has their name on it. And you could use this to gift someone if you were going to gift a sister or one of your family members some clothing or something, or even just any gift. So this one is kind of more of a Christmas theme. This one is a blueberry paper that I had, and this was the first one that I made. And then on this one, I also tucked in, um, oh, my little thing's coming loose. I also tucked in a little bit of uh, tulle, not tulle, um, cheesecloth on the dress. So, but this one I'm gonna redo um, and pull this in a little bit tighter. I'm just gonna refold it after I get off camera. And then this one here is another Christmas one with just some red floral uh, trim. And then another one of those flowers that I got from Susan with a little piece of the trim cut out and a little diamond on top or bling. So I just thought these were really fun and would be cute for um, using on Christmas packages or birthday cards, etc. And I just wanted to come on and share that with you. But again, this is G Care's 
um, inspiration and I just followed the tutorials on her channel and she shows how to make all these things including um, as I said these clips um, you can use paper clips also on these she does a smaller version of the dress where she turns it into a clip for your planner so lots of really good ideas um, and I hope you'll go check out her channel um, and then I did make my very first Christmas card and this is one where I poked holes into the cardstock and put in the shape of a tree and then sewed it with floss. So just some regular embroidery floss. And um, I used a little tag that says, Oh Christmas Tree, and that's the Lily of the Valley stamps that I've been using for years. Um, I don't believe they're open anymore for selling of their stamps, regular, um, you know, clear stamps, but they do sell digitally on Etsy if, you, if you're interested. And you can just Google Lily of the Valley, um, which is L-I-L-I, -L -I, not L-I-L-Y, I think. It's one or the other, I can't remember. But if you Google them, you should be able to find them and then it'll lead you to their Etsy shop where you can still purchase these stamps, at least as far as I know. So anyway, this is my first Christmas card and I this is just really simple and you know how I like that homespun look. So I had fun doing this. I think the template for the tree was an old uh, plastic template with little holes that you can poke through it and it was from I think the company Paper Wishes and this is like 20 years ago almost or 15 or 18 years ago when I got it. So. But you can literally just make your own template with a piece of cardstock and a drawing. Just draw the pattern you want and then evenly poke holes through it and do your sewing. So that might be something you want to try just for fun. And then I did make a few Christmas tags that I want to share. If you'll remember on my Instagram feed at Christmas time last year, I had shown this particular stamp. And I'll show you really quick. It's this stamp. And this is the Comfort Food stamp set. Uh, it's called Comfort Food from Stampin' Up, and uh, it's a retired set, but I was looking specifically for a pumpkin bread or zucchini bread or, you know, banana bread type pan with a loaf, and uh, I just, I wish someone would make a larger size die of it so I could make bigger Christmas tags, but at least I found that and I was able to make these cute little tags, um, and I just stamped and colored it, and... Uh, I used just a bell and a, and a little tag that says Christmas wishes and a little candy cane and I thought these would just be really cute to attach to a loaf of bread to give to someone at the holidays. Um, you could do it for Valentine's Day, you could color it slightly differently, maybe make the heart a different color and you could use it any time of the year. Um, so I just thought that was really sweet um, and I, I just like the idea of having these on hand because I do like to bake bread with the zucchini from my garden and as well as pumpkin bread during pumpkin season. Um, you know, and so here's one where I did rusty jingle bells and this one just has like a little heart gem uh, or a heart charm that I got and it's red on one side and silver on the other. And then this little tag is also a digital tag from Lily of the Valley. So, and it just says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So just a really simple Christmas tag, you guys. These are just really simple and cute. And uh, I just got uh, three or four of them made. I think the other one's upstairs. But I just wanted to come on and share those with you guys and uh, share my first Christmas card. And of course, these cute little dresses that G um, shared with us. So, and then I had one other thing I wanted to share. I got this little um, handmade die and tag from Impression Obsession a while back. I think it was last year. And um, I put a couple of these together to just use on different things. You can put a little string through the end and hang it if you create a garment or a blanket. And uh, you know I crochet and I thought these might be cute. And then you could write a little note on the back to the person you're gifting it to. And they'd also be really cute on washcloths that you crochet. So I just thought this was really sweet and I was playing around with that a little bit today. And uh, there's the die and information. So that's everything I have for you guys. Um, I want to thank you for taking a look at my channel, um, for all of the sweet comments on my videos, um, and being so appreciative of the things that I create. I so enjoy sharing crafty time with all of you. Um, Muriel, Miss Cooper's Coop, has already done four Christmas tags and shared them, so I wanted to mention her channel. And then also Don H. Creates is doing a Christmas, uh, summertime Christmas series in July, I think. 
Um, I have I need to get over to her channel and take a look, but I just wanted to mention her channel too. And uh, I look forward to seeing what everybody does for Christmas. Um, I'm out kind of poking around in YouTube a little bit when I have time, um, but things have been a little bit hectic lately. So anyway, um, I'm just glad I got to come on and share something. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I send my love out to Kat, to P, and to so many of my friends that are going through some hard times. Elise, who I know hurt her knee recently. Um, and I know there are others. I know Robin and some other ones of my friends. Uh, you know, everybody has sometimes hard things that they're dealing with in their lives. So I send my prayers and my love out to all of you, and I hope we can all choose joy. Okay, I'll be back with you again soon. Take good care. Bye.